Thanks for coming and hanging out in the basement with me today. What I've got is something new to me, another little industrial switcher. So I just can't help myself sometimes. I saw this on eBay, a little more money than I wanted to spend, but I don't know, something came over me, I had to have it. And uh, let's open it up. And you guys already know what it is, but uh, I haven't seen it yet. So we're kind of filming this out of order. Let's take a look. Let's check out this sucker. Like I said, I have not looked at it yet. So I'll be shooting the thumbnail when I'm done videoing this. Oh boy, styrofoam peanuts. Woohoo! Alright. Get this puppy out of here. But it made it, so I guess I can't complain. And these are the nicer peanuts anyway. Oh, now they're all over. Alrighty. Let's see how I did on my eBay purchase. For one thing, I like the color right off the bat. A little dusty, but that's okay. And it's got this switch on it. And you're going, what the heck's that switch for, Jeremy? The other ones don't have it. Here's, here's my other one. Well, I grab an army switcher here. Here's, an, here's another one. This is a later one, and this guy can run on AC or DC, is my understanding. Um... So it should have a small, yeah, I can see it right in there. There's the electronic reversing unit for it. So, and we also got centering uh, couplers. That's pretty cool. So this should be the reverse lockout. And I think it's heavy enough. It feels pretty heavy, so I believe it does have the weight inside here. Yeah, you can see that circuit board just jammed way up in there. Um, yeah, this is one of my early ones. This guy definitely seems a little lighter. It's hard to tell right on weight exactly, but yeah, you know. All right, let's let's try it out here. Let's get you down track side, and we'll make sure everything works here. Okay, we'll hit the switch the other direction. Okay, probably need a little cleaning, but that's okay. I saw the light come on. All right. Hey, it moved. That was the main thing. Let's clean up these wheels and we'll give it another shot. So we're just gonna use some of my favorite solvent here and we're gonna clean up the wheels and the rollers. Let's just get started. Like I said, this won't take long at all. Okay, let's give it another shot. Okay, we're here to give it another test try. You know, I'll just I'll just wipe down the track real quick here. Give it a benefit of the doubt. Yeah, that's that's a little dirty. Alright. Let's see what she does. Considering how these, I think the center rollers need a little bit of work. They're not, they're, they don't have too much tension on them. I mean, everything's freed up here. I don't think the problem is with the motor. I just think our problem is getting good electrical contact here. I'm going to take a little scotch brighter Dremel to these wheels. Let me try that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I went out with the Dremel, which is kind of like, uh, on this attachment, it's kind of like a scotch bright pad. And these wheels are looking way better. Let's try it now. See what she does. Whoa, look at that. All right, I think it's locked in forward here. Let's hit the switch, see what it does. Oh, that fixed it, that fixed it. Okay. So, that is way better. It runs really good now. Oh yeah. 
Alrighty, she is working good on AC power. Nice and smooth. Let's take a little closer look at the body shell. Alright, so here's this ladder that snapped off when I was cleaning it. This just snaps in here. There we go. Piece of cake. Good as new. Alright, let's pull off the body shell real quick and show you the inside. And I'm curious too. So to take off the shell on these, there's two screws. There's in opposite corners. One over here, one over there. Now this one has a headlight. Okay, so we got a headlight in here. We got there's some of that lovely double-sided foam. This is probably a very similar circuit board to that last one I worked on, but this one's running good, so we're not going to worry about that. And yeah, I don't think we have a weight on the. Oh, yep, there's the weight right down there. Interesting. So that's where they put the weight. Because this guy has a weight, same kind of weight, I believe, except uh, it was it's adhered to up in the top here. And as you can see on this one, no provision for a switch. So this is a base model. And this one's a little later one, but this this engine work this this motor is really good, works well. All right. So this would be easy to modify for two headlights. Um, yeah, it's pretty much pretty good there. Just tap in the original headlight wires and put it up under here. You'd probably get some light bleed from it, but that could be, that could be fixed with some tape. But yeah, these things are super, super simple. Let's see here. Oh, I see you'd have to the chassis out you'd have to pull off the couplers but kind of interesting how they molded the uh, pieces in there make them self-centering so you can do a little a real switching with it all right well let me put this back together and uh, maybe we'll hook up a little train and see her go around pulling something so got the potted body pulled off here you can see how this dead foam uh, if I touch it it just starts deteriorating and they used a real teeny light bulb on this thing which is nothing wrong with that but it fits into this little cable guide fits perfectly right in there so that's pretty neat so I'm gonna scrape out this foam and see the adhesive backing of it right here we'll peel that off and get that all cleaned off and here's a circuit board which is indeed the same as that other one I, I looked at earlier and they got some tape on the uh, transistors here to stop them from shorting out against any wires but got the same yucky tape here we'll try to scrape that off and get that nice and use some maybe some double-sided tape to hold it on more modern stuff but yeah the foam is uh not good but yeah the circuit board looks fine and of course it works good so i did lubricate the gears i'm not going to lubricate the motor because that's working well and uh yeah I'll be back when I got it all cleaned up. Everything's all cleaned up, and man, that circuit board cleaned up really nice. I used Goo Gone on the back, along with a really stiff um, brush here. It's not a toothbrush. This is like a detailing brush, gun cleaning brush. It's used in a lot of various industries. Uh, I bought this at uh, Fleet Farm, home and farm and home type of store. Super stiff brush, brush bristles, but. Uh, so I very carefully scraped the board with a flat screwdriver. Careful not to scratch the board. And that got rid of most of it. And then uh, the brush helped out the rest. But I wanted to find out what year this was. Um, Trains.com with Z says this is a 94 to 95, which I believe that. Looks like it was available for separate sale. And so I peeled off the sticker on the chip and it's got a date code of 93. It's 51st week of 93, so 
manufactured right at the end of 93 apparently but so that makes perfect sense and I also see that they have this weight screwed in so that's pretty cool but what I plan to do is use some of this double-sided tape to kind of hold it in it's not real pertinent on this thing because everything's all plastic around it so I'm not too worried but uh, let me reassemble this oh yeah you can see how how clean I got it too I just scrubbed it in hot soapy water with a toothbrush and then uh, took it out and blew it off with some compressed air just to dry it off real nice fortunately the bell is not um, metallic coated but that's okay no big deal and of course that lateral snap on there no problem but looks way better okay let's get her back together and give her a test run well there she is all done and ready to go now should I be mad or frustrated with the eBay seller because they said it was working no the eBay seller I got it from looks like they sell a lot of railroad stuff and this thing's 30 years old they might have tested it six months ago something like that maybe they put a couple of alligator clips on it hey it works great forward or backwards wheels cleaning that is part of normal maintenance and looking at those wheels they need to be cleaned so the ad didn't say nothing needs to be done or anything like that so 100 i'm fine with it this is normal maintenance that um if you buy a locomotive a used one from ebay you should expect to be doing this at least that's my personal opinion if you think something different let me know but like i said when they tested it it might have worked just fine you know sitting around for six months wheels are going to oxidize stuff's going to happen but i am extremely happy with how this turned out cleaned up really nice and uh it's ready to go on my layout just for kind of fun stuff so let's watch go around a couple times and i really want to say thanks for watching and i hope we catch you on the next one it runs really good kind of hoping maybe i'll find a couple of those lionel reverse units so those cheapy ones like that we'll see Maybe I can fix some up. I'll have to do a little eBay searching. <laughs>